Okay. <laughs> Are you recording? No, you're not. Okay, good. All right, I'm just moving that out of the way and we can get recording. Okay, so welcome to Team Activate's um, training today, this beautiful Friday, 26th of February. It's a big session today, so please take notes and um, we'll get straight into it. We're covering compliance training. How can I keep my business compliant? And we're also going to do some month end procedures. So I am Andrea Olivia and I'm from Queensland and today presenting with me is the beautiful Leah Craig and she's from New South Wales. You'll hear from Leah a little bit later on when we're covering the monthly procedures. Very important, why do we need to comply? We must stick with compliance and all the rules and regulations because not only is it the right thing to do, but it is going to protect our company and all of our company's employers as well as our distributors and all your future distributors and their income. There are a lot of people watching us to make sure that we do the right thing. There could be disgruntled distributors and employees from the, the company. There could also be consumer watchdog organizations and TGA and various other organizations that have approved our products that watch to make sure that we don't make any unlawful claims. These are some of the applicable laws that we have to stick by. You can have a look in the Life Vantage policies at policy 8.3.2. If you need to know where that is, please ask somebody to help you because it's really important that you stick to these rules. Okay, the rules about the products. What are the appropriate product laws? We can only claim what is the publications. We have got a beautiful new website that shows us all of that information, as well as LifeVantage's website where your shop is and such that gives you all that information. It's cl the, the claims are based on the approved product. Um, so for example, the, the TGA, et cetera. Again, see the policy. Now make no mistake, you are being tracked. Why? Because what we have is something incredibly amazing. So be careful not to use um, the buzzwords that are being searched for on Facebook and on social media by all types of those little rogues that are computerized and having a look. Don't use disease names. Don't use catchy buzzwords like um, get rich overnight and home-based business can, you know, well, home-based business is one that we can probably use, but you have to be careful on how you're going to use it, you know. Can't say mums can stay at home and get rich and not do any work. No drug claims whatsoever. Do never state or imply um, that this product will treat, cure, mitigate, diagnose, prevent any kind of disease or disorder. And the product is substitute, is no substitute for a drug or drug therapy. For our distributors and product business testimonial rules, there is something you can, TGAC number two, 2018, you can have a look at that if you would like. It says that the testimonials must be typical of the results expected. So don't make any dramatic before and after weight loss photos, for example, because that's not gonna happen for everyone. You're gonna make people disgruntled. Testimonials must disclose if valuable consideration has been or will be given to the person providing the testimonial. Anti-aging. Yes, we are anti-aging, but we cannot, comp we cannot say that we're going to make a person younger. That's not what we're doing. So we have to really be careful how we use the word anti-aging. Let's focus more on what we can say, because I think it's so much easier to just make notes of what you can say. And if you're unsure, rather check with somebody before you make any kind of post or any kind of claim, especially anything that's recorded or, or posted on social media. But what you can say is that um, we reduce free radicals formed in the body because we increase the antioxidant production. It helps reduce and decrease free radicals the, or the free radical damage to the body cells. It protects against oxidative stress and reduces oxidative stress. 
but don't stipulate in your things how much. Even though there are studies done on them, it's it's advised to us that we don't claim that because you know maybe it doesn't happen in one percent and then you get yourself into trouble. So don't make the exact assumptions. It increases SOD, which is superoxide dismutase and catalase and glutathione. But again, don't say the word by 300%, which is what we do know, but we're not going to make claims that can be held against us. And it switches on the good genes, not switches off the bad genes. Well, that's interesting because I've heard a lot of people say that. So don't go saying anything negative or anything so factual on your um, things. You're giving suggestions on what it can do. NRF1, what it can do antioxidant and reduce free radicals formed in the body, helps reduce and decrease free radical damage to the body cells, and enhance and promotes energy levels. Um, what we can say about NAD in New Zealand, and hopefully very soon in Australia as well, is that it supports healthy longevity. That's very exciting. Um, it supports, I, I don't know how to pronounce that word, so I'm going to just let you guys read that which is the removal of cellular waste, um, improves mental focus and concentration, and supports positive mood and motivation, boosts mental and physical energy, and supports healthy vascular system. All of that information is so intriguing that we don't need to go against and say anything negative. We can just promote in the positive direction. So about our probio, we all know that probiotics promote a healthy digestion and maintain and support a healthy digestion. Um, assimilative nutrients, all those lovely things that it says over there. What's very exciting about ours is that it's the 52 minute to start um, disintegrating. So that's what's special about ours. It also has an added immune, immune booster ingredient and has a high quality of clinically tested strains of bacteria. So again, we can promote to the positive. And then our skin care, clean formula, mitigates visible effects of skin damage caused by oxidative stress. It steps up the skin's own protective barriers, provides protection against environmental assaults on the skin, and it counterbalances the visible negative effects of the sun-related damage. Our, our hair care, again, is a clean formula. It suits all the scalp types, so we don't have one for oily and one for dry. It's for all types. It nourishes your scalp by moisturizing the scalp, protects against environmental elements, improves the shine and body for fuller, thicker looking hair, and mindfully formulated with the NRF2 ingredients, which makes it special again. So use those, um, our special effects, if you will. <clears throat> Inflammation. We cannot say inflammation, even though the patent is on inflammation. Supplements are intended to help people maintain good health. Inflammation is, work, is from working out, like exercise is different to inflammation from arthritis. Inflammation is normal body response, but the FTC sees it as a precursor for disease. So we can't on our, when we're talking one-to-one, -one, we can possibly talk about inflammation when we record it and we're posting on, on social media. That is a word that would probably be searched by one of the gremlins. So don't use it. Before and after photos. If you would like to use before and after photos, you absolutely can. Um, you just have to have that disclaimer. So earlier I said, if you can, just take a photograph of this disclaimer at the moment. And if you're ever unsure before you post, ask anyone in the team on our, on our Facebook pages um, and we can share that with you. So always add the disclaimer to your photos, especially if you're mentioning the product as well as the photo. So like I said before, rather educate people on health and oxidative stress and NRF2 and NRF1 activation the probiotics and the gut and the importance of that and diet and cardiovascular health and our published studies. You can educate them on that. Don't go on the negative side, rather become like the proactive teacher than the reactive teacher. Take care saying things like 
any type of claim that the product affects the structure or the functions of the body, like the heart function, blood flow, etc. Um, you can't say things like it helps to maintain good cardio health. Rather say antioxidants are essential for good overall health. In animals, well, animal claims, there's no real regulations for the product claims for animals. Do not claim that this product is approved as an animal drug because we do not have pet tandem here. We use pro tandem. Pet tandem, however, is, is approved for the, for the dogs. Pro tandem formula is patented for all mammals. So it's not a safety issue to use for all animals, but don't make any claims that it's, um, a drug for animals and it's to help animals maintain overall good health. Take a snapshot of this screen here. There on the left hand side is some unacceptable claims, acceptable claims. So we don't say protandum works 100% of the time. We don't say it works on all mammals 100% of the time. Um, we don't say one million free radicals per second every second. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and uh, what we do say instead is it can fight one million free radicals per day. Taking pro tandem increases the enzymes in your body that can eliminate um, a million free radicals per second every day. Per sec, per, sorry, per second every second. Interesting. Is that, yeah, so just be careful how you word things. And uh, if you're not sure, ask. Um, another one, take a photograph of this one here because this helps you find other words to use instead of using such as ADHD. Talk about behavioral issues or psoriasis. Talk about skin issues, the heart cardiovascular health, um, diabetes, sugar concerns. So these are good um, alternate words to use to allude to these diseases that people would be talking about. Facebook groups, all of our groups must be compliant and they must have corporate compliance team member in the group. All basic compliant rules apply to Facebook groups. So if you happen to make your own group, you need to make sure that you've got a compliance team member in your group to make sure that everything you're putting there is compliant to safeguard yourself and everybody else. I strongly suggest that we plug into the things like Activate My Life because those groups are already made and Charlotte would be well aware that those are all gonna be very compliant for us. Okay, on the business side of things, um, yes, we have a lovely opportunity um, and there are some regulations that you need to know about that. That's Pro 7 or higher. All marketing materials are to be seen and submitted by Elite Pro 7 to compliance for approval. All social media must be approved. And you can have a look in the income claims for the policy. But as you know, we NASDAQ traded so we can get the income claims right from the internet and we can't fudge any of that. Okay. Um, so your, your, everything must be truthful. Don't be misleading or deceptive because it's just going to come back and bite you in the backside. We don't want to allude to something that we can't see that person deliver on because otherwise they're going to end up giving up anyway. So all of your hard work and getting them into the business and encouraging them and seeing what they can do would be a waste of time. Please be aware of this because we are seeing a little bit more as La Vantage grows that people are doing this, not in our team, but in others. And we do not want to be known for that in Team Activate at all. Don't take photos of your commission. Um, you know, no one needs to know that information. And always use the success disclaimer as you'll see on the next page here. Um, sorry, it says you'll see on the next page, but I don't see it there. So business, don't use things like the stay-at-home mom and the home-based business because those little gremlins are looking for those buzzwords, as we said before, and they don't want to see that, okay? It's selling the business on the opportunity that you can stay at home 
um, without explaining what, what it means and takes to build it is just a farce. And again, you're going to get a disgruntled mother with young children and you're going to have a bad situation. So treat people the way that you want to be treated. Be honest and be fair. Do not use things like leverage, same with leveraged income, rather explain what it means. Explain what leverage income. Buzzwords alone cannot be used to sell the opportunity and home-based entrepreneur business is okay to use. So that's what you can say when you say home-based, home-based entrepreneur, because everybody knows an entrepreneur is not someone who sits around and gets rich while they sleep, they work. Okay, there's the disclaimer. If you'd like to take a photograph of that, that's the disclaimer that you can use if you are um, making some kind of business attraction post on your social media. I'm not going to read it out to you, but you can take a quick picture. And again, if you're unsure, ask somebody to help you with that in the group. Okay, we all hear this pyramid scheme. Um, so a pyramid scheme is actually an illegal scheme. It pays participants for recruiting other participants while a legitimate MLM company or opportunity pays participants for selling products or services. Now, of course, we're still looking for other people to join our team and help us do that. But essentially, we get paid for a product. We're not um, recruiting other participants to just recruit other participants. So that's the difference. And once you get your head around that and you get a bit of posture on that, things really do change for you. So pyramid and wrong advertising. I'm going to read this. New participants are induced to join. Uh, sorry. This is all the same thing. In contrast, people in multi-level marketing actually earn money. So just what we just said. If you want to have a look at that, um, you can have a look at that acc.gov and you can see the difference between the two things. Opportunity and advertising. So when you're making adverts and things on your social media, do not emphasize recruiting more than sales. Do not mistreat the compensation plan as being based on recruiting. Do not promote purchase requirements like pay to play. But there's no purchase requirements other than the startup kit to become a distributor. Do not promote auto order subscription as mandatory or the only way to succeed, but rather as a benefit to your customer and do not guarantee success or passive residual income. As we said, everyone is different. You can't guarantee anything to anyone. You can offer them the opportunity and they're gonna do what they're going to do. Okay, we have a red red carpet program. You may or may not be aware of that already, but that is essentially when um, somebody else has been working in the industry and we bring them over to our company if they have been away from their company for a while, but they have made money. There's a lot to go into that and you can ask somebody if you want to know more about that, but it's not a financial bridge program. It's not a loan or a cash advance or anything like that. It's a performance-based sales program. New distributors are awarded for new sales volumes. Some reasonable business expenses might be reimbursed. The red, pro, the, the red carpet program, new distributors joining LifeVantage may inform their former sales team that they're leaving their existing opportunity, but do not say anything negative about the company they're leaving. Do not invite others to join them at LifeVantage and disclose that they're joining LifeVantage unless the person asks. So you're not going to go announce on your page that Susie from um, Juice Plus is coming over to you and Susie was a diamond there or whatever. You're going to get into some trouble with Susie and her people and your people. Okay, selling online is an absolute no-no. This is obvious because we are working to be distributors independently. We want to make the sales ourselves. We don't go and take our product and sell it on eBay and Amazon and Gumtree. And we don't use the company name or products in our URL. You're allowed unlimited websites and landing pages, but when you click on buy now, it must take you to your personal shop, not to any other store 
that you've created. Um, compulsory for product and business posts that shows your name, every Facebook post, every Instagram post, every YouTube video, every other social media platform, every bit of marketing material must have the badge, the Life Vantage Independent Distributor. So that is of obviously if you're making any kind of post or something about your product or business. You need to be showing people that you are an independent distributor. That means you're taking responsibility for all the things you say. So make sure they correct. Now spouses can um, cannot enroll each other. You must have the same sponsor and this doesn't apply to partners, only to married couples. If you wanna know more about that, reach out to your upline, whoever invited you, and they can explain a little bit more about that and the benefits of that. <clears throat> materials, a library and collection of shareables on our, all of our things is available for you. There's like 40 to 50 different ones and every month it's refreshed. You can look in the marketing playbook. And since we've had our new website made by the lovely Robin Venter and Charlotte, you can find a lot of them there as well. If you're unsure where to find them, please reach out to someone and they will help you. If you have any questions on compliance, this is a lovely email to write down. So you're not sure about something, email compliance before and you will get the answer. That's even better than probably putting it out on social media, our, our um, Activate My Life platforms and things. Go directly to compliance, they'll give you the answer. Okay, and now I'll hand you over to the lovely Leah, who's gonna be talking about, um, a little bit about structuring your business and the importance of the month end procedures. Thanks, Leah. Thank you, Andrea, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, I've learned so much. Just honestly, there was a lot of information there that um, has been updated and changed. So thank you for just reinforcing that and um, getting that in our brains. What what is cool and not cool to do in the company and right and wrong. So we do have to comply, but we also have um, a lot of little procedures to tick boxes off at the end of the month. And I really like this checklist because it makes me feel like no matter what I've achieved through the month, I've got it done. Um, so there is a slide next about life vantage materials and oh, checks for your month end. And this is your PV check. So to earn full commission, commission within the company, you need to have um, PV of 200. That PV includes your own personally enrolled customers and orders. So your own order of 40 PV is included in that 200. So isn't that amazing? That's all that they expect, that 40 PV. So plus the 160, which combines to make up your personal, um, commit your qualification for commission every each and every month. To qualify though, for the matching bonus and launch bonuses, you must be a pro three. And for matching bonuses, you must have 100 PV in personal new customers or distributor enrollments for the month. Obviously, distributors make up a lot more of PV in their pack amounts. So going on from that, the last month is now closed. So what you need to do is by the end of the month is just to confirm your holding tank. 30 days you've got to move each and every new enrollment. So we just do this check at the end of the month because it basically reminds us to move those and place those people before they, they aren't placeable anymore. So if you don't place them within 30 days from the time you've signed them up, the distributor or the customer will remain on level one. So it's just a nice reminder at the end of the month to always check your holding tank and make sure. Obviously, if you're going to leave it a month from the time you signed them up, you may need to check weekly or daily in your holding tank. Click at change and that makes the move permanent. Obviously, after choosing who you're placing it under, under their ID and the sponsor, you can only move them once. So know and understand the compensation plan. Um, we basically have a uni level, comp, uni level comp plan. It's not binary. It actually goes nine levels down. So the comp, you can have that on your, your little board next to you all the time so that you can check how it works with unlimited legs um, or what legs split you are required to have at each stage and each rank. So it's dynamically compressed with residual income each month. And that's amazing and phenomenal within the industry. We get paid five ways 
We also get incentivized lots of other ways. We build wide for income and leg balance, but you can also and should think about building deep for security and stability. The minimum number of legs for each rank is required there on that compensation plan, uni level compensation plan chart. So please check the leg split requirement for each rank. Residual commission is between 2 to 9%, depending on which level you have, under which qualified distributors you've got them under. So the points revert to zero every and each month. So for a lot of us, we know and see this happening, but for newbies, um, there's some tips. So family tips, ensure you have your children or family enrolled as a customer or distributor, depending on the age and place them at the very top of your legs. Because when they do turn 18, they can become a distributor and start doing this business with you or benefiting from all the work you've done. So it's awesome. If your account is in your name only, you may have an account for your spouse as well. Note, the person who enrolled you has to enroll your spouse. Mm. Yeah. So customer upgrades, that's great, uh, to a distributor, fantastic. We, we believe there's a, a really good figure on that, a high figure of two thirds. Um, if that customer was never moved by you, then when they upgrade, they will be in your holding tank and you can place them in a new position. So basically the rank details are here, paid rank. Pro one, pro two, pro three, pro four, you've got all that going up to presidential, which is like pro 12. And then going down, we want to look at exactly what's required for, say, a pro three, the starting senior, like the starting position that's most, uh, you know, noted within the company to begin with as a very foundational level rank. Uh, pro three, you want to hit as soon as you can. So the monthly minimum PV there is 100, but we're obviously aiming for 200 all the time just so that you're ready for that pro four rank. And then it goes, like I've just said, the 40 PV minimum, the 5,000 overall volume required, the number of leg splits too, the 80% required from the highest leg. So basically if you had that like in the little circles on the right-hand side, you've got 5,000 to become a Pro 3. So th this is one example. You could be at your maxed out version on leg one with 80% and your leg two at 20%. So the uni level pro four, there's another scenario. You've got 5,000 for pro three, but that's not right. That's not going to get you pro four because pro four volume is 10,000. So to make the 10,000, you have to have your legs split between however many legs you would like, but we'd start with around three, two to three, um, and get to that um, 10,000 volume. Sorry, Leah, I think what they're also showing you there is in leg one, it's now 4,100, and yeah. in leg two, it's only 900. So you actually wouldn't hit pro three at all because yes. you, you can only take 80% from leg one, which needs to be 4,000. Yes. So, um, it three legs, which I was sort of mentioning, highlighting that yeah. a little bit, that it didn't, it wouldn't work. So yeah. that's the big X yeah. over that one. So maybe the next slide will show us that it actually how it does work. It'll, um, so this is one way, another way of achieving. Did you go back or forward? I went forward. Okay. So just showing you the best way really to build is to try and keep all your legs equal. Yeah. You know, if you get one strong leg happening, let's say you get one distributor and she's really running and she's doing things and you get another two or three, get them on their own legs because uh, you, can, you don't want to grow only one and not the others. So grow evenly across the board for stability later on. Yes, as much as you can. So you might have be like on your way to pro five and need 20,000 volume. This is just another example. So splitting 20,000 volume up into three, the maximum that you can do on one leg is 12,000. The other would be six and another one would be two. Um, but all the other legs would be 2,000. So uh, you might have more than three legs, of course. So this one won't work because you've got 21,000 in volume and you think you're hit for pro five, but you haven't because all the other legs um, split. The first leg is 13,000. The next leg is seven, which is 20,000. And the next leg is one, but you can only take 8%, 80% from leg one, which is not 13,000, it's 12,000. So you have to build the other thousand into the other two legs there 
to make that like uh, or more hopefully like that's what the whole idea is to try and balance your legs out so that you are getting the full volume so it's a perfect leg split and if anyone's got questions chat i'll just have a look thank you for the presentation andrea okay beautiful this can get very fiddly but if you do want to sit down and go through with it for a, you know, a lot more detail, a lot more questions, please do that with your, your sponsor, do your direct sponsor, because you know, by the time you get into that stage, you just want to have a foresight in mind of what you can achieve. So for example, this is a good way of looking at the split evenly, 33.33. .33. Of course, you know, let's, it could never be that perfect, I'm sure, but 6,666 on each leg and your Pro 5. And just bearing in mind that the beautiful Robin and, and them have just finished that website. So this is the easiest way to reiterate what we're looking at here. You go to your section, whatever pro you're chasing, and all of this is broken down again there in such a beautiful way. So we really are just going through this um, fairly quickly, but all the information can be re-looked at on that website. Great, so the structure starts here, you and three. So you and three distributors to get your business cranking. The one leg is um, two, three, and you could put four and five and six underneath that so that you've got your distributors underneath again. Um, and then you've got your third level ready to go to place customers on. So pro four, two legs, pro five, three legs, and that's you at the top. BC2s are issued at Pro5. So Pro5, you basically get another business centre which you can attain more volume at from the company, but you build yourself under there. So at Pro5, you get a business centre too and you just build it like you built your BC1. Pro5 is three legs. So um, one, so this won't work. So for Pro5, the three legs is, you now you start placing things under the BC2, but there's no need to worry about, is that what that one means? No one need to worry about this second, second leg here. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a BC2. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway, if you've done your 33% evenly, I guess that's what it means. So a multiple business center is, um, so as you go from Pro 5, you go to Pro 7, you get BC3, you start building the same under those BC3. So they just, they are, they are given to you underneath your BC2. So the BC3 is given to you under BC2 and you just start building your BC3 then. So each of these important um, rank achievements, Pro 3, Pro 5, Pro 7 uh, is new. And you can see the client business owner relationship there, people that are building with you. So you want to place your customers with two active distributors, earning residual income between you and them. So if everybody's active, it remains active and you'll get the check at the top. So um, you, you have to be active and you have to be, that's the way this is fair. You can't just be not working towards your goal of always achieving that rank as well each month. Oh. Sorry, I'll just mute you. Um, I think some. It, it, can anyone mute? I can mute. There you go. Great, done. Um, so, people and places. Place people on the basis. Place people based on your rank and the balance that's required for your rank. So always have that end goal volume in mind and how you're going to get there. Work backwards. So realise who your uh, previous relationships are with, work with them or the geographical closeness to be able to place people under. That's what I've done quite a lot if they're in the same town. Rewarding effort um, and not talk. So people that are actually running and ranking and building with you, reward them by placing people under them if you can are they a distributor or a customer or a potential distributor? Work with them where they want to place their people. So you do need them to ask you um, or tell you as a, as a sponsor who they are for you to make an assessment on that. Like, are they a customer or a distributor so that, I, that you can help your distributors then rank and, and place people? So the month end procedures are really important. And really, this is your goal. This is your responsibility to do. So um, we can't blame anyone else. Write down everyone in your holding tank. Have a clear definition of that, what's going on. Sort your customers from start to distributors, from customers to distributors. Sort customers who are potential distributors. 
and then also consider your leg split and other items discussed. So place them accordingly. There's two methods. The holding tank is super easy or an email to customer service. So email the wording, please could you do the following month end placements for me? Please place Susan Smith ID 545454 under John Brown ID 656565. It's just as easy to go in there and verify that yourself and not get it wrong. Um, but if you do have a problem with that, AU support at lifevantage.com will help you make your placements. You can place directly from your back office in your holding tank. You can place directly under a distributor. But if you want to place a customer under a customer, you need to send the email. And LifeVantage is one of the only companies that actually allow you to do that. So in other words, if I'd signed up Olia as a customer today, and I also signed up Jen, and Olia said to me she's thinking about being um, a distributor later on, and Jen said the same, even as customers, I could place them one underneath each other so that they could help each other build when they become distributors. But that's got to be done with the email service. Okay, reach out to the team and remind them of placements and offer help. So it's never okay to ask your upline for volume though, just a no-no. Work with your sponsor upline at month end to help with your placements and make sure to look at your leg balance before making the moves. Also look at your team and see if by placing the person on the leg that you require the volume, if you can possibly help a distributor to rank advance, then that's a good thing too. So in conclusion, fill your holding tank every month. That's how you know your business is growing. You make the final decision on where you want to place your people. You cannot blame anyone for giving you the wrong information. Place your people within 30 days and make the best decision you can based on the facts you have at the time. That's what we all can do, only do. So place customers in line for the third payment. If placing under a customer, you have to email customer service to do it. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll stop recording now. Did anyone have any questions and there's nothing in the chat? But you're welcome to, I'll stop the recording. You're welcome to pop on and say hello.